Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And verse 1 is the iconic shepherd imagery that sets up the, the rest of the passage. And in this first verse, we see that David, the psalmist, is calling the Lord his shepherd. And it's pointing to behind that name, that word Lord, there's a name. It's the very name of God. And this is the, the name of God that's revealed to Moses back in Exodus. And so previously in our, in our Bibles, if you flip a couple pages back, you're going to go to the story of Exodus. And in it, God reveals himself, his very name to Moses. And he gives Moses his name and he's saying, Moses, look, I'm going to call you out of Egypt and we're going to have a special, I'm going to build a special relationship with you and the nation that you came from of Israel. And here is my name and I want you to know my name. From that first story, God gives his name to the people. And from there, throughout your Bibles, you're going to see that different authors are going to refer to God's personal name. So David, when he says that the Lord is my shepherd, He's saying that that God, the one who has rescued the people of Israel out of slavery, the one that has led them through the wilderness, and the one that has taken them across the Red Sea, he's saying that this very God, this God of power and might and creation who made everything, the stars, the sun, um, the earth, the birds, everything in this world, that this God, this creator God of mighty power is his shepherd. And so in this image of shepherd, we see these three different aspects of God that God leads us, that God protects us, and that God cares about us. And this is the God that he's calling a shepherd.